And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Viego Tom Kench. That's right. <laughs> this is going to be a little janky. We're playing this in normal. It's going to be a meme tier deck here. Uh, combining these two champions is kind of difficult to put the deck together, but we're going to see, you know, we'll just see how it works. You know, this was a viewer submitted donation deck idea to build a deck with uh, Viego and Tom Kench in it together. So I'm thinking, all right, we got to do those two. And so we're going Shadow Isles with Tom Kench. What can we do with those? So we're going to have like Camborn Soldier, Invasive Hydra Vine. Obviously, we're playing those with Viego. So we'll put Bayou Brunch in here also, where Tom Kench can eat either one of those. You know, maybe like the Camborn Soldier is a little uh, easier to do. We can capture the uh, Camborn Soldier so that then if Tom Kench dies or if Tom Kench levels up, either one, uh, we'll be able to release the soldier back, get the resummon ability with the Encroaching Mist. Boom. How about the Viego? All right, so that's cool. Uh, looking at what else we can do with Shadow Isles, we can play Lamb's Respite. This one, I'm going to try this one out. Give the weakest ally I can't take damage or die this round. So if Tom Kench is our weakest ally when we play this, then the Tom Kench can't take any damage. And so then it can, uh, for just the round, but then it can eat something with the acquired taste and it can swallow something like really large and it doesn't have to worry about the strike. I know <laughs> we're we're stretching here, but maybe that can maybe all that can like actually happen. <laughs> so we're gonna try that out with the Lambs Respite. Uh, we'll also have Ebon here, uh, three copies of Eb, basically because the Flow and the Ebon Flow can heal an ally two each, and so like those can heal an ally four, so we could heal a Tom Kench a little bit with Ebb and Flow. Uh, besides that, we'll play some Dreadway Deckhand for some Powder Kegs with Make It Rain. Um, and Unspeakable Horrors, we'll have like Powder Cakes plus those. We'll have uh, that little bit of a combo. Um, you know, Powder Cake plus Withering Mist could be kind of cool. Uh, you know, so we'll try we'll try out a little bit of stuff with that. And use Glimpse Beyond for some card draw. Um, Miss Call, just kind of put a Tom Kench or a Viego or a Hydra Vine back in play if any of those die. And a couple of Vengeance. And that's just going to kind of be it. So we'll see how the rest of it goes. Who knows? Let's go have some fun. Let's see what happens with Viego Tom Kench. <laughs> Alright, we're playing against Darkness. I don't imagine this is going to go too well, but you never know. You never know. Um, I think I'll send it all back. The strength of our deck is definitely going to be the Viego part, you know, as far as, like, winning games go. Just the um, Camel Warren Soldier into Viego and that kind of stuff. Playing against, like, an actual Tier 1 meta deck with this meme tier deck is probably not going to go so well for us. Yeah, that's true. At least we it said at least we can eat Vagar. That's, that's true. That's true. Yeah, the problem with like make it rain unspeakable is that well one I should just be I should just be saving my my spell mana here. Uh you know, yeah, the the three two I was really scared of. I was definitely really scared of that three two. And make it rain unspeakable cost four mana together, and that so that would not have killed the three two. It just cost too much mana. It, thankfully they didn't have it. Or at least our hand hasn't been so great. And we did draw the soldier. Um. Okay. Vagar does seem like quite the acquired taste. It's too late now. No, 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 something. Ooh, thank you. I don't kill my Viego. Yeah, they did not challenge my Powder Keg. Um, 
this Lancer Spite is kind of like a cool thing to do with the Powder Keg. You know, you can make it so the Powder Keg can't die this round, and then, like, you, you can use it multiple times. I guess we're going to go with this Ebb and Flow to try to... No, I want to do damage to their Nexus, right? Because I was going to eat the 1-1. But we'll use the flow part to heal Tom Kench. Wish you could strike, you know, wish you could acquire taste of your own things. It's three mana deal three. Would have rather dealt that 10 total damage upstairs, but that's how it goes. Let us peruse this establishment fair. I guess I could see them having Ruination. Probably shouldn't like play the Hydra Rind first, then they Ruination. That would be kind of bad for me. Kill this 2-2. Two -two. They're just going to be killing that. Did we... Uh, did we Viego? Wait. Ha! Huh, now this hits the Tom Kench? <laughs> yeah! Can't take damage, can't die. This round. How about that? Now I can glimpse beyond the Tom Kench. A nice little draw two in. Can't die anyway. Bayou Brunch? Okay. Bayou Brunch just puts it up to three health. So it'd still die to the darkness next round. Ha! <laughs> They're like, I kind of, you know, my opponent was so confused about this game, they just wanted to leave. Okay, we got uh, Heimer Jace. Okay. Get rid of these Withering Mists. I'll keep Tom Catch with Bayou Brunch. So, this is like our third. So, okay. Those of y'all watch on YouTube, I'm going to reset yet again. <laughs> um, we had our, our previous opponent. Did concede early. Usually, those kind of games, I, I just skip over the recording or, you know, I'll, I'll edit out so we you know, have good quality games for you. But we did get to show off some cool things that Tom Kench did in that first game. We actually played a second game that was kind of the same thing where we just had a Tom Kench and weren't really like close to winning at all. But my opponent just conceded because I guess they just don't like Tom Kench. <laughs> so I think what we learned here is that people just kind of concede if you have a Tom Kench in play. They're not happy about it. Assembly line. Okay. I think I'll take six. I don't know why they would also pass, but so we'll just take six and then play Dreadway Deck Hand. Oh, they just also pass. Alright, cool. Because then I was going to like play this, get the Powder Keg, and then like Withering Miss with the Powder Keg, deal three and three. And then it also heals six back. Go back to twenty, but oh, yeah, you're the very best. We'll just get Tom Kench to play. Kind of expected my opponent can see because I played Tom Kench. That's what's happened so far. In two games. I'm sure there's something for my taste. So they still have three mana, and ebb and flow, and you know be able to block and then reheal and stuff. But no, not really. We'll just make it rain. 
and deal two to a bunch of stuff and just like block one of these and take like nine, I guess. All right, looks like we're doing two to those things. Can a spirit fight to the death? Thinking I'll learn soon. Okay, unspeakable horror, one of them. Grow the burgeoning sentinel. Dusk Rider. Oh, I don't require a menu. Menu. Do I want Tom Kench to eat this 3 3? No, probably not. I think I'll just go. Withering Mist style. Back to 16. I got eight cards in hand. If they drop Heimer, Heimer will be some tasty food. If they drop a Jace. Chase is not nearly as tasty because it's a 5-5. Five, five. We'll do, Axel. We'll do, Axel. 5-5 five, five, Challenger? I guess I'll just pass. Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Great. We're and they are what you got? going wide. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Wow, plus two cost of my ebb. My only interaction spell for acceleration gate. Replicating the power like the only thing to to not hit. Alright, so we can still play it, but that hurts. Alright, kills one of them. Ready for acceleration. Really? This thing gets spell shield? Like one of the only things I can kill also with this? Now it gets spell shield? This is overwhelm. That's fearsome. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. So I have to really hope that this flow hits the six one, I guess. Like the ebb and flow. Alright, please hit the 6 1. Because if it doesn't, we're taking 13 16. Okay, so it's not exactly lethal, but it's basically lethal. No. Let's go, people. Yeah, Chase is pretty good. Accelerated gates. Acceleration gate's pretty good. Especially when you're able to go wide, and they were really able to go wide with double assembly line, and then also that that Otterpus Forge Chief for that other two mana was really nice. Hey, show me that again. Sure. sure, why not? All right, I guess our Tom Kench didn't get there this time. talking about this like why do people play these tier one meta decks in normal and then you know like, i'm just trying to play tom kench here oh and i don't i don't need i don't need like this kind of power that we're playing against okay so we'll keep tom kench lambs respite i guess we should keep vengeance also for their champions um, really hope it's not just you know more of those assembly lines that like make the three threes real fast and then just like attack us with a whole bunch of three threes right away. 
like last game. Oh, Jace is absolutely tier one. Jace is the champion I play against the most, and Remember, we're the yeah, ones make progress happen. usually do well with, you know, anytime I played Jace Heimer or Jace Lux, I had a really good record. Plan on having six mana next round, uh, which would be enough for Ebb and Flow a few times, but or like Withering Mist twice. Gotta say, not a bad place to work. All right, Withering Mist drain four twice. That'd be cool. Bleh. Have to do that. So, if I want to take advantage of these powder kegs, now we have to play the ebb and flow. You got legs. Use them. Set them off. I'll scrutinize something scrumptious. They got nowhere to go. All right, so it gets rid of that so they don't get to continually gain any more spell mana. Probably trade with that thing anyway. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, that is what I pay you for. Be nothing left when I'm done. Well, if it isn't the man of tomorrow. Hey, back to work if you don't want to be the lady of yesterday. Kill the two one. Only drain three. Hydrovine. Let the light guide you. Hydrovine can steal games. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Ebb. What are we doing over here? All right, so now we have a one out of three shot. Kill the Jace. Oh. Oh, Evan Flow can be so bad sometimes. We just spent six mana to do nothing. Hey, Rosa. Got some new tweaks to the power circuitry. Literally just spent six mana to do nothing. What you got? I'll contain the threat. Who's the threat here? Discipline and steel. You will not prevail. So 11 mana means they don't get to double, you know, play two six cost spells. We'll save Demacia from magic. Demacia doesn't need saving. I'm going to have to shoot the Lux, but that's still game over, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, th these decks are just too powerful for us. These decks are really good. All right, one and two. Alright, so we got a Viego Mirror, their Viego Nessus. So they're gonna be playing their smaller Sharima stuff. Definitely love Hydrovine, but of course we have to wait till round seven before we can play Hydrovine, so we're gonna send it all back. Um like the Bayou Brunches would be good if we have a Tom Kench and you know if we have time and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not sure we're going any of that will uh, apply to us, whether we're gonna have Tom Kench and or whether we will have time. Well, I did say I wanted to see the world. 
Okay, another burgeon burgeoning sentinel. Gently, gently. <laughs> Can a spirit fight to the death? Thinking I'll learn soon. I do like burgeoning sentinels. This cards are really good. Fly from the first land. I've worked up something special. All life must end. Do, 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 do. So I wonder if they are going to have Vile Feast to like respond to my Glimpse Beyond. I guess that's possible. So maybe I should just take the five just in case, because you know, like if I make these blocks and then they respond, then uh, you know, like as as is, it's, those are good blocks. But if they respond and then then like we just kind of like kill these things for nothing. If they have a Vile Feast, that could be pretty rough. But I'll still just go ahead and do it. I mean, we're a Tom Kench deck. I mean, we can't, <laughs> you know. All right, cool. We can't play around everything. Okay, I think I'll just open attack. I'm willing to trade either of these for the 4-2. And then we'll play Tom Kench here. <laughs> this Lancer's Bite is not the best card, but, you know, we're we're playing a janky deck find a gift for over here. Right, Arda. Tom so Kench with basically no way to protect Tom Kench. <laughs> I really wish Acquire Taste could just... I wish you could eat your own cards. Even if it does strike Tom Kent, I really wish you could just eat anything. I wish you could just capture any, a unit. That would be a good way to just give Tom Kent a little bit more flexibility. Like, Tom Kent does need a buff. Because it's only playable in the Soraka deck. The whole world will know my Uh, chat says he works pretty well with Freljord. There's Freljord Tom Kench decks as well. I mean, I've, I mean, when was the last time we saw a Freljord Tom Kench deck win a game? Like months ago. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't remember the last time I've seen that deck. So they could challenge the Dreadway deckhand, but choose not to. Huh. You got legs. Use them. I need that Dreadway deckhand out here anyway for my lambs or spite, but I wonder why they didn't. I wonder what their reasoning is if not the only do they want it to like stay vulnerable for a different thing. Okay, Tom Kench can't take damage. So now we gotta go one more round of them not killing my Tom Kench, please. Yeah, you know, like next round, can we Lamps for Spite it again? Because then if we can, then Tom Kench levels up, and then that's cool. Let us peruse this establishment fair. This establishment fair. Please don't kill my Tom Kench. Just play another Viego or Anasas or, yeah, like a Hydra Mine or something. Come on, work. They can't kill it. Come on, work. And then we eat the Hydra Vine? Okay. <laughs> Man, this is janky. 
Down to 13. <laughs> and now we're going to level up Tom Kench. Me, small <laughs> in my magnificence. Man, this is crazy. We just ate a Viego, ate a Hydravine. <laughs> okay, that's silly. Be nothing left when I'm done. That's about all we got. Like, I don't know how we're actually like doing 17 damage or anything like that. That's like all. That's all I got. But that was still pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I could. Make it rain open attack, I guess. Hmm. Wait, so if I would have make it rained, would they have still gotten they still would have got the spiderling, right? But would I take away a, like they wouldn't have got the slay for Nasus. It's like one of the only things I can actually eat. <laughs> I guess we might as well eat it. No! Evan Flow! You're killing me! Oh, this card's been so bad. <laughs> it's been so bad. Nine mana next round. Demacia sends its regards. Its regards. At least two damage to the Nexus this time. Okay. At least it dealt damage to the Nexus this time. So we have, we have enough for a vengeance and an acquired taste. Ooh. The dark beckons. Yeah, so chat's kind of saying that while Tom Kench is not very strong, his play patterns are horrible to play against, so I'd rather him not be very strong. That all makes sense. I I think that just even like this this could be how they could buff him up though, just a little bit. Just just Tom Kench swallows a unit. And it strikes, you know, everything else is the same. But I think you should be you should be able to eat your own stuff with acquired taste. It does, you know, it does make it like a Yeah, because it does yeah, I guess you couldn't say it's a strictly better than Bayou Brunch because it does strike. Bayou Brunch doesn't strike, you gain stats and everything. Is my opponent Are they tilted? Tom Kench does tilt people. Okay, attack for eight. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Take eight. I can't believe we were able to do that though. Double lambs or spite. <laughs> eat a Viego, eat a Hydravine. I can't believe it actually worked. Alright, now an invoke deck. With Diana Leona. We'll keep the Viego looking for like Camaborn soldiers. Help grow Viego. Alright, Chaz, while well, I get the idea of using Lantern Spite with Tom Kench, why well, pair him with Viego? Because this was a donation deck. That's what the, the person that donated for the deck said. Can you build a Viego Tom Kench deck for me? And so that's what we got. So this is what I put together after that. We were peaceful once. Could make it rain. So Nightfall creates a Daybreak card. 
We know this is going to be a Daybreak card. And obviously we know that's Dust Petal Dust. Still nothing really to do right now. Okay, so that's not the that's not the Daybreak card they created. That was this one. Um, the Withering Mist, Withering Mist. No, I was gonna say that that enables to make a rain. Well, that put, puts me to twenty. We take five. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, donation decks are ten dollars or ten thousand channel points. If you're here in chat watching a lot, you can earn those channel points. Which is right underneath the chat box. And now it looks like we're gonna be playing Diego next round with three spell mana. Haven't found any other units to buy you brunch or glimpse beyond or anything like that. Mountain Scryer is always a good one. <laughs> now we get the soldier, now that we're gonna have Viego mana. Alright, two out of four. If I play Viego, they go. Yeah, they could definitely go uh, Pale Cascade, Pale Cascade, kill Viego. I'd be able to glimpse. Play like new Viego the next round. I don't know. Viego's just probably the card to play. I guess I could play Camelot and Soldier, but I'd rather play Camelot and Soldier next round. You know, I'd rather use my nine man my five mana like this. Okay, Fallen Comet. One damage. <laughs> what is okay? So does that replace their whole deck? Oh no, maybe maybe they don't have a celestial ally. Actually, they don't. So they do okay. So that doesn't. So it's just invoke. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. 10 mana, so if we Withering Mist, we have 5 other mana. Okay, so that's what Heaven's Align created that one. I also don't really love any of my lines. I think we're gonna do this. I wish I had one more mana for like a lot of things, you know, which we could, you know, one more mana would give us like this thing, or we could have like Tom Kench plus Lamps or Spite. Alright, so they're just down to 2 mana left. All right, they don't even stun anything. I do this for her, for us. Okay. Rise, beast of Camarón. There you go. Just take two damage. Alright, so that grows Viego to be three health. Ooh, and they pass. Now four health. Okay, okay. Sunlight guiding, my brethren. The sun's splendor revealed. Go get him, Tom. Diet is expensively unique. Old Thomas. If only this stuff was fast speed. 
Right, like they try to obliterate, we respond with the Bayou Brunch. That would be cool, but we do have a backup victor. Or Viego, sorry. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Feeling pretty good about this one. Pretty good about this one. I guess I'll just pass. See what see what happens. Yeah, so that's what I I kind of figured they'd have a fallen comment from the Solari Priestess because it was the best thing to hit. And now we got a new one. Diego number three. So their only card that blocks Diego is the Leona. The combo with Lamb is Lamb's Respite on the Tom Kench and then Acquire Taste so Tom Kench doesn't take any damage. No mercy for heretics. That's our combo there. The guilty were bad. Like, the 7-7 seven is going to just die anyway. I think we should probably just buy you brunch the 7-7 seven seven with the Tom Kench. That sounds pretty cool. Hopefully no, like, Ruination. Rasa? No! No! My Tom Kench! Rude. All will be consumed by the Black Mist! Alright, so you can just go ahead and eat the 7-7 seven, seven then. Let's grow you back up instead of being a 7-2. Let's have you be a 9. Or, I don't know. It's on the big. 14-9? Yeah, that's pretty big. And... Man, my Tom Kench. I was going to do cool stuff with Tom Kench this round. You know, we're going to, like, double Bayou Brunch Acquired Taste. This is going to be cool. All right, well, I got a bunch of mana and nothing really to do, so I guess I'll play this card and just see what happens. Surrender to me. Otherwise, I could have, you know, I could have just lambs or spied here so I can't die and then glimpse beyond and draw two. But I just decided to do all that stuff instead. All right, we didn't actually really kill anything. Because the Viego is going to steal the 8-4, and so then I'm going to just keep, you know, be able to glimpse beyond that 8-4 anyway. Or Bayou Brunch. I guess Bayou Brunch Viego is kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. No! Let me do it! Oh, actually, no, I should do that on the... Okay, because at this point in the game, I just wanted to show cool combos. Okay, so I was going to not do it on the Viego. So, um, I could do it on the Ephemeral. Have my I could have my Ephemeral capture the the Rasa, so that then whenever the Rasa die or so the Ephemeral dies, the Rasa comes back into play, but then it's, it's in play under our control. It's not going to go back to the opponent, so we're going to be able to just keep the Rasa. Okay, so... I would have to say that was a success with Tom Kench Viego. Viego is powerful enough just to win games for you, as we saw with that last one. Uh, but we actually did get to do some cool stuff with Tom Kench. I can't believe we we did get the game number four. We actually got to pull it off, where we got to um, have both of our lambs respites on our Tom Kench, and then we ate a Viego and ate like our opponent's Viego and our opponent's Hydravine and leveled up our Tom Kench. That was really cool, and and like where. You know, with the Lancer Spide, it couldn't take damage or die. So, um, definitely some weird games here. Uh, but, you know, whenever you play Tom Kench, you're going to be playing at some weird games. But, um, kind of went two and two. You know, we didn't really win that first one. The first one, our opponent just kind of conceded, but we got to show off some cool stuff, so we kept it. So, really, it was like two and two here, not three and two. But, um, you know, I have to say, for just building a Tom Kench Viego deck, I think we did pretty good. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, 
hit that like button over there and as always leave those comments and let me know um you know if you you know how'd you like the deck it's something just completely different it wasn't exactly a random champion casual friday today but this was basically that um if you got other deck ideas for some crazy combos or anything like that let me know hopefully y'all enjoyed it but that's going to be it for tom kench viego so as always thank you so much for watching and we'll see you for the next video